friends, welcome back. So today I'm bringing you guys another video and this is gonna be my November favorites. This may or may not be the last video that I film, or the last favorites video I should say, that I film in 2015. I don't think I'm gonna do a December favorites, unless you guys really, really want a December favorites. But I might just do like a yearly favorites so that I don't like bombard you with favorites videos. But if you guys really, 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 really want a December favorites, like let me know and I got you. But for today, we're doing our November favorites. So I'm really excited to show you guys some of the things that I want to talk about. And if you guys want to know what I've been loving for the month of November, then please just keep on watching. Before we actually jump into my favorites, I do just want to say that if this look seems a little bit familiar to you guys, that's because this is the exact same look that I was wearing in my Sephora VIB Rouge sale haul, which I will link down below in the description box just in case you missed that one. But I did just finish filming this look for you guys because you really, really, really wanted to see it. So I really, really, really want to film it for you. So that's, that's that. So I do want to start out with some skincare. I have two masks that I want to talk about. The first one is the Sephora Purifying and Mattifying Mud Mask. This is just what it looks like. I'm sure you guys have seen this so many times because I've seen this so many times. So many people just rave and rave and rave about this product. And so I felt like I had to give it a try. I used to have the Glam Glow, the white one. I think it's called the Super Mud. It's like the one for acne. And I personally don't feel like that did anything for my skin. I know everybody loves that mask. And I was just like super indifferent about it. And since it's $69, indifferent means I'm not repurchasing it. So when I saw this one, I was just like, okay, let me see if for $19, you heard that right, $50 difference, um, if this is going to be good. And I actually really like this a lot better than the Glam Glow one. I would definitely repurchase this one when I finish it. Um, it looks like it's going to be white, I feel like. Like, I was expecting a white mask when I opened it. But it's not. It's gray. Hopefully you see the grayness. It looks kind of white on camera. Oh, that's probably because I have the top on there. It looks a lot like the Glam Glow mask. It smells a little bit different. I feel like I like the way that this one smells better. It smells a lot like clay, but like kind of like a sweet clay. I don't know. I kind of like how it smells. I mean, I wouldn't sit there and be like, but it smells good. I love this mask more than the Glam Glow mask just because it tingles a little bit on my face. Like when you first put it on, like you feel some tingling and I love to feel any type of tingling, burning, anything like that on my face. Like I'm down for it. I put my face through hell basically, but I just love the way that that feels and I feel like it really gets in there and like clears out my pores and I feel like it really makes a difference in mattifying my face. Like when I put my moisturizer on and like when I put my moisturizer on, I'm just like, yes, throw on like 37 pounds of moisturizer. It just like disappears and my face stays matte, but you can tell that it's super hydrated. So I just, I love this mask so much. I would highly recommend it, especially for the price of $19. Like you need this. You need this. So ironically enough, the next mask that I want to talk about is by Glam Glow. <laughs> so this is the Glam Glow Youth Mud Tingle Exfoliate Treatment. You guys saw me haul this in my Sephora VIB Rouge Sale haul, which again, will be linked down below. And I actually picked this up because of one of you guys. You guys told me that since I love exfoliation so much, which I do, like any products that you have that will basically make it feel like you have sandpaper and you're rubbing it against your face, like I want that. I want that, so you guys let me know. But you guys said since I love exfoliation so much that I would love this, and you were right, because I love this. Let me just tell you though, this burns. Like when people say that it burns, like they're not kidding, like it burns. For me, I mean, I don't care, like I can sit through it, and I'm just like, yeah, okay, burn my face off, whatever. But when I take it off, I just feel like I have completely new skin, like I feel like my face is just is just so smooth, and it's so soft, and it's just supple, and I just, I love it so much, I love it. I do this, I want to say, like, max twice a week. I wouldn't do it more than that just because it is really, really harsh. And it does have, like, I want to say random little pieces of, like, leaves or something in there. It's, like, super random. I feel like it doesn't do anything. Like, they're just, like, really huge chunks of nothing. But I still love this so much. So if you guys are really into exfoliation and you don't mind when things chemically burn your face then this is definitely for you. So I do also have three brushes that I want to mention really quickly. The first one is a NARS brush, so it was super pricey. This is the NARS Yakio brush. Yakio. I've been using this a lot this month to apply my blush, and I really, really, really like it. It really just applies my blush exactly where I want it to be, and it blends it out perfectly, and I just feel like it's the perfect amount of density, but still has a lot of give to it, so I just really like this for blush. I haven't tried it for anything else but blush, 
but I do really like this one. Next brush I want to talk about is a brush I've been using for contouring. I know I mentioned a contouring brush in either my previous favorites video or the one before that. I mentioned that I was using the Sigma F35 highlighting brush for contouring, which I still really really love that brush but this brush is just a little bit more precise so this is the chisel cheek brush by makeup geek manny mua is actually the one who made me want to buy this brush and you guys also saw me haul this in my makeup geek haul which also will be linked down below and i've just been using it recently and it just gives me like the perfect contour ever like it just it's like the perfect shape it's dense enough so that it really just applies the contour exactly where you want it to be and nowhere else but it does have enough give that you can blend it out slightly. You can't blend it out too much. I won't say that you can just go in there and just like make it look super airbrushed. You definitely can't do that with this brush. But you can blend it out enough. If that makes any type of sense. So I've been really liking this and it is so freaking soft. So if you guys are looking for a contour brush, this is the way to go. Finally, the last brush I want to talk about is an eyeshadow brush. This is the MAC 242 brush. You guys have seen me use this brush in like every single one of my tutorials or get ready with me's because I just love it so much. I have like five of this brush. As soon as I got one, I was like, no, I need like 107 more. So I have like literally like five of them and I just love it it's the perfect brush to just pack on any color onto your lid if you guys have been subscribed to me for a while you know that I used to use any brush to pack shadows on my lid like any brush at all I didn't care where it was from if it was from eBay if it was from Coastal Sense if it was from BH Cosmetics I don't care whatever brush even my fingers like it, it wouldn't even matter to me but once I discovered this brush like I can't use anything else like I literally can't use anything else I feel like it's such a perfect size to just pack on anything to your lid and it's just like the most perfect density and I just I love it so much I literally will not use any other brush ever I also have a primer that I probably should have talked about when I was talking about the masks but I forgot so we're gonna talk about it now so this is the makeup forever step one skin equalizer in the mattifying version I love this primer I wear this primer every single time I do my makeup and I don't know what I'm doing without this primer if you guys are debating between this one and the Becca primer the Becca ever matte poreless perfecting primer you know what I'm talking about I highly suggest you guys pick up this one because I love it so much more than the Becca one the Becca one has like this slight and by slight I mean very intense tightening feeling when you put it on your skin like it really makes your skin feel like you have a mask on and you can't move your face and I like that but this one doesn't do that which I think is really really cool I usually just use this in my t-zone so like on my forehead I try to go like over my eyebrows with it because my eyebrows like they tend to get really oily it's like the most random thing but it happens I put it right around my nose and on my chin as well and I have not gotten oily once with this primer once I actually even use it with my makeup forever ultra HD stick foundation which you guys know is like a pretty dewy foundation and I did not get oily and I'm just like something you guys may or may not have noticed within my recent videos if you check my description box there is almost never a concealer listed there because I almost never wear concealer now and I know that's like crazy because I'm honestly like at each end of the spectrum like I'll either wear like white concealer or I'm gonna wear no concealer like I'm like super dramatic like that but I have been doing a lot of cream contouring as opposed to wearing concealer and I just I love it so much more so this is the Anastasia Beverly Hills contour cream kit this is what I've been using on an everyday basis this is in the color medium and I really want to try the Laura Mercier the contour cream kit from Laura Mercier, I don't know what it's called. I actually have it, but I never use it because there's no highlight shade in there that I can use and actually works. There's one highlight shade and it really, 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 really sucks. So I just use this every day and I really love it. Now, let me say if you are dry, you do not want to pick this up because these are like extremely hard and like dry creams. Like it's really hard to apply them and I feel like you kind of have to really dig your brush in there to get the pro oh, oh. <laughs> to get the product. And if you see, like you can probably see like my brush just like going in there and trying to get the product. I mainly use this underneath my eyes. This is the color nude. This is the color cream. I lied to you. This is the color cream. And I use this underneath my eyes the majority of the time. And then I use this one to contour and then this one to bronze up my face. And it's just, it's just perfect for my face sticking with the face i have two becca products that i want to share with you guys the first one is this becca shimmering skin perfector in blush copper i don't know if it's available for individual sale like this anymore i bought mine off sephora a while back and i know it is limited edition so 
I don't know if it's still available by itself, but I know for sure that it is available in the Champagne Glow palette that Becca came out with. So this color right here is Blush Copper, and this is also Blush Copper. Just saying. So what I love this for is just to put it right over my blush. I'm not wearing it today, so I don't know why I'm pointing to my face. But I just love to put it right over my blush. I feel like it warms up my cheeks and at the same time makes them glow. And I just love it so much. I love it. I love it. Apparently, I love it. When this first came out, I was using it like crazy. I was using it for like every single look. And then like it just got pushed to the back of my collection. I forgot all about it. But then when I saw that the Champagne Glow palette was coming out and that this included blush copper, I remembered like all the good memories that we had together. So I remembered that I had to pick this up because I love this color and then I've been using it and it's been great. The other Becca product that I want to talk about is this blush. This is the color Nightingale and I am obsessed with this color. For winter, I honestly think you cannot beat this color. This color on the cheeks, I feel like it just looks like a natural like winter flush, if you know what I mean. Like when you're cold, I feel like this is just like what your cheeks do. So I really, really like this blush. I've used it in a couple of my videos. It's super ridiculously pigmented. So if you see this and you know how pigmented Becca blushes are, this is going to scare you. Like this is really going to scare you. But if you just barely touch it and put it on your cheeks, it is just the most insanely beautiful color. It's a very cool tone shade, but it just gives you the most gorgeous flush of color. So I just really really love this I have then I have two highlighters that I want to talk about these are by Ofra and these are the Ofra and dupe that highlighters I love these highlighters I debated not getting these highlighters because I was like Katie like seriously you have so many highlighters like I have a lot I have a lot I have a lot but honestly I have negative self-control so I, I picked them up anyways plus I used the code Kathleen 40 which is Kathleen lights coupon code and I got 40% off so I was not mad at it so this is actually my favorite color of the two this is called you do you and do is spelled like Mountain Dew like do like do the do this is the more golden shade of the two and I just love it so much especially against my skin tone I feel like it reminds me a lot of champagne pop now that I'm like really looking at it it really does. It's like that beautiful golden shade, but it does have like a hint of peach in it. So it does remind me a lot of Champagne Pop, but I love this color so much on the cheekbones. It's super, super smooth. It doesn't have like any like chunks of glitter or anything like that. So if you're somebody who really doesn't like glitter or like chunky particles in your highlighters, which personally I don't mind it, but I know there's a lot of people who don't like that, then I would suggest you guys pick these up. This next color is You Glow Girl, which is a little bit more of like a pinky silver shade. It's still, I can still wear this one but it looks a little bit crazier on me than the golden one so I think that's the reason that I like the golden one more it just flatters my skin tone better but it's so beautiful especially if you have like really like fair skin this is gonna be your bae speaking of palettes I have two palettes here that I know you guys are gonna hate me for mentioning but I have to mention them because I have been using them like crazy so these are the Natasha Denona 28 color eyeshadow palettes and I have both of them here and I love them so 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 much I've done so many videos like wearing the eyeshadows like in my color pop swatch video in my makeup geek haul video I did a get ready with me with these like I have been using these eyeshadows to death like I literally I'm surprised I have a hit pan on anything like I just I just love them now I know you guys are like girl stop mentioning these $250 palettes before I have to come to your house and beat you up. Basically, I have these palettes because I got them for my birthday and I have been obsessed with them ever since. I love them so much. Now, I saw a lot of you guys requesting that you want like a full in-depth review on these. Don't worry, I saw you and I did film that review so it should be going up shortly after this video. And I'm really excited about it because I feel like I give you guys some good details in there to really make up your mind whether or not you wanna really drop some lashes, you know? I feel like I give you guys enough detail in there to make you really decide whether or not you want to buy these palettes. So I'm really excited to post that video for you guys. But I have just been loving them. Let me show you the inside because I literally am not even show you the inside. Like what kind of beauty guru am I really? I've been using this one the most just because it's so like warm and metallic and fun. And I really love this one. This is like the green brown one I think is what it's called. I love this one probably the most out of both of them. But I also really like the other one because the other one is all colorful and fun. So this is the other one. This is like the blue purple one. I just, I just can't. They're like the smoothest eyeshadows I've ever used. They're so buttery and creamy and blendable and pigmented. And I just, 
I'm done. So lashes I want to talk about that just fell in the middle of me talking about those Natasha Denona eyeshadows are by Flutter Lashes and there's two pairs of lashes I want to talk about. This one is Intoxicating and this one is Slayla. You guys have seen me use Slayla I think in my teal smoky eye video so I'll link that down below. I love these lashes so much so much and then these are intoxicating which are the ones I'm actually wearing in my eyes today I should probably zoom you in right okay I don't know if you guys can tell but I'm wearing the intoxicating right now and they are super dramatic and in your face and long and full and I I just love them I cannot get enough of them these are probably the best uh, what are they like synthetic lashes I think they're synthetic I think they're synthetic so these are the best synthetic lashes that I've ever tried and I'm including House of Lashes in there because they're just so good if you don't like a dramatic lash though do not even pay attention to what I'm saying right now because these are these are real it's a real life another pair of lashes I've been using like crazy is this pair of mink lashes here these are by New Bouncome and these are the Bella of course I got these because Manny MUA is obsessed with these and he makes them look so good with every single eye look so I was just like Katie come on girl let's do this so I did this and I'm so happy that I did I bought so many of them and I am just like stocked up forever but I just love them so much like I wear them all the time you guys probably see me wear them and probably I think like three or four videos at this point because I just love them so much they do remind me a lot of Mykonos by Lily Lashes but if you use a coupon code they come out to cheaper I was just saying I was just saying we're almost done I swear well with the makeup and then I have a few like extra favorites thrown at the end but I also want to talk about a lip gloss this month like I'm just full of surprises this month I love this lip gloss by Anastasia Beverly Hills this is the color vintage you guys saw me wear this in my rocks box unboxing video the more recent one and then also in my eyebrow routine which will both be linked down below and I just love this color so much oh my god like I wanted a mauve lip gloss for that video specifically I was just like I really want a mauve lip gloss today like where it at though so I know that Anastasia Beverly Hills came out with a whole bunch of new ones and like Kristen is like really close to this color and there's like so many shades that would have like fit the description of the lip gloss I wanted but I didn't pick up any of the new shades but I had this one in my collection. I had never worn it, so I was like, okay, let me pull it out. And I, I can't, I can't. First of all, this color is to die for. Second of all, this scent is more to die for, okay? This is the color right here. Again, you can see it in action in those two videos, but it is just the most beautiful mauve shade ever. It's super glossy, and it's so pigmented, and I just, I'm all about this life. Anastasia Beverly Hills lip glosses are like one of the few lip glosses that I really, really like, so. So that's actually it for my makeup favorites, but I do have two lifestyle-y type products or type things, I should say, that I want to talk about. The first one is this pair of earrings that I got in my Rocks box this month. Let me zoom in. These are the bar earrings that I got in my Rocks box. If you guys saw that video, you saw that I was really excited to wear them, and I actually put them on that same night, and I literally have not taken them off since. I actually ended up purchasing them because I love them so much they are so comfortable but so cute and I just cannot get enough of them so I just wanted to show you guys those earrings because I've literally been wearing them non-stop since I got my rocks box and I actually just got my third rocks box and I'm like really excited to see what's in there but I'm gonna let you break from rocks box for a second so we won't do that for a little while and finally probably my favorite thing that I've ever spoken about in any favorites video ever I think is a TV show that I have been so so hooked on if you guys follow me on snapchat you know that I pretty much snap every day that I'm watching the show and it is arrow I love it so much oh my god it is the best show that I've ever seen in my life hands down is better than criminal minds better than American Horror Story better than scream queens which are like some, some of my favorite shows first of all okay first of all Oliver Queen is probably like the most beautiful human being I've ever laid my eyes on in my life and Elver hates every time we watch the show I'm just like on top of that, there's like so many scenes where he's like working out and I'm just like, oh, you're shirtless. Okay, let me just get a bucket for this drill real quick. Okay, thanks. No, but in all seriousness, that show is amazing. Right now I'm in the middle of season two, like almost towards the end of season two. And I am just like, mind is blown every single season, every single episode, every single like minute. Like I just love everything about it. Felicity is my favorite human being in that entire show. By the way, Felicity is the bomb. She's like the only normal person, I feel like, in the entire show. But I just, I love that show so much. Me and Elver watch it all the time. And it's just like, it's so hard to stop watching 
once you've started. So, like I said, I'm at the end of season two. Do not tell me anything that happens in season three because I will come after you. And if you don't watch Arrow, please do you and I both a big favor and start doing it ASAP. So that is it for my favorites this month. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please, please, please do not forget to leave your favorites in the comments below. You guys know I love to read your comments. I always answer you guys back. And I just love to know what you've been loving for the month. Just like you'd like to know what I've been loving for the month. So don't forget to comment your favorites down below. If you guys did like this video, please don't forget to give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe if you're not already. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram, Snapchat, and Twitter. Don't really follow me on Twitter. I say that every time. And like I feel guilty as soon as I say it because I'm like, you're going to follow me. And there's just going to be like crickets from my account like cause I don't even use it I never use it I don't even know how to use it like I feel so old or something that I can't even use Twitter but definitely follow me on Instagram and Snapchat because I'm most active on those two accounts I've actually been taking kind of a little break from Snapchat recently just because like school has been so hardcore on me but I definitely plan on getting back onto that and yeah enough rambling that's all I had to say in case you guys care. Don't forget to check the description box for links to some of my previous videos and links to everything on my face today. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye. <laughs> no, 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 no. Oh, no. <laughs> Oh my god, yo. What did I eat? Garlic bagel. <laughs> what? 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 What?